So here's a question that I want to deal with. Uh, it's not a super big question, but I think it's going to make your life easier if you can appreciate it. So this question, this topic is called counter ions, okay? So counter ions, what do we have to say about that? Well, counter ions are also known as spectator ions, and they're always there. And I've already referred to this in, in some previous conversations, but I want to convince you that it's a good idea to leave counter ions out of the notation. Can you have, do you have any idea why? I'm going to keep this short, so I won't spend much time on it. But look at this. If I've got a full reaction here, and I've got something called soda mid, right, or soda mide is what some people say, and water, and ammonia, and sodium hydroxide, well, I know sodium is always a spectator ion, so I can, if I get rid of that, if I simply take my, if this is aqueous, right, this is all in solution, if I get rid of that, then all of a sudden, look what I'm left with. A big red flag there. And these lone pairs of electrons, this tells me what is going on in the reaction. Now that I understand, like, uh, now that I understand curved air notation, right, you can do curved air notation if the spectator ions are not there. So frequently what we're going to do with counter ions is we're going to omit them. All right, and I'm going to try to convince you to do the same thing.